In a world where video and audio can be manipulated with ease, it can be hard to know what's real and what's not. Really, what the threat actor is doing is leveraging technology to convince you that they're someone that they're not. I reached out to Rachel Bush. She's vice president of cybersecurity risk at Nationwide. She pointed me to a survey of theirs that shows most consumers are highly concerned with the misuse of AI. They can use that to craft messages that might uh, al might allow the person to think that someone that they love is is truly at risk and in need of help or is maybe asking for money. Mom, these bad men have me. Help me, help me, help me. She begged and pleaded as a phone was taken from her. This mom testified before an Arizona Senate Judiciary Committee recalling the terrifying ordeal when scammers manipulated her daughter's voice. A threatening and vulgar man took the call over. Listen here, I have your daughter. The FBI has issued warnings about AI and how it can be used by scammers to craft highly convincing voice or video messages, oftentimes resulting in financial losses, reputational damage, and compromise of sensitive data. It's really difficult to discern what you can trust and what you can't, and so my advice is to operate with a healthy degree of skepticism. I asked her how to defend against these kinds of tactics. She recommends having a safe word with family and friends for validation if a phone call from one of them seems suspicious. And she says we have to be vigilant with texts and emails too because AI can mimic the writing style and tone of someone you know. So be careful when you're asked to click on links or download files. Fraudsters will take it advantage of that data to do things like take over a bank account or potentially to gather enough information that might even allow them to open up fraudulent loans or fraudulent credit cards. For more cybersecurity resources, head to cbs8.com and go to the online version of this story. Working for you, Brian White, CBS 8.